I think something that we can learn from Mary Rich's life is that some of us might lose what we think is most important to us. And that is definitely a, an occasion to genuinely lament and grieve over that. But I think if we look more carefully, we can see that maybe it's also an opportunity to do some of our best work in terms of our God-given callings in life. When Mary Rich was growing up, she was really into romance and fashion, all these sorts of things. And so she started sort of pursuing those in her life. She got married and she was very into sort of living the high life and being cool. Uh, but then when she became a Christian, uh, things started actually going sort of bad for her. There were these different times in her life where she had to go through very difficult trials and she really lost the good marriage that she was hoping for. Uh, but instead of becoming bitter about it, she actually decided to devote a lot of her energies, not only for caring for her husband who was sick, um, but also using uh, the inheritance that he had been given to do amazing charitable work in her time. She really was taking care of the entire community around her. Uh, not only people that she didn't know, but also the employees that worked in her house and many, many family members and friends and even pastors who had maybe fallen on hard times. And so I think this can show, teach us uh, just to have compassion for ourselves when we go through difficult things and to try and see God's hand even in the worst, darkest times of our lives, uh, maybe finding a way to turn it into something good.